you are welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at the recommendations for the bobo policy framework the things that the bobo can do in order for them to achieve their objectives the first recommendation is that supermarkets are mass buyers and provide market opportunities which must be trapped by the locals so the local suppliers should try to supply supermarkets and they should put a rule whereby 80 percent of the shelf space in supermarkets is covered by local goods instead of imported goods another recommendation is formalizing and developing of small micro and medium enterprises to increase their capacities and and participation in domestic trade and this can be done by providing of business support services for example building infrastructures like roads electricity and then other things providing of loan startup capital yeah another recommendation is enhancing the capacity of the local companies to produce and supply products that meet the required quality and standards and once goods are of quality it will encourage the consumption of goods both locally and internationally which will help to promote the buy uganda build uganda another recommendation is that government should create awareness to the local private sectors and manufacturers regarding the conformity to standards and quality requirements because most local producers who are deep in the village they know nothing about the uganda national bureau of standards they they don't know that they're supposed to get a certificate in order for them to produce and supply yeah so they should create awareness they, they should sensitize them about the importance and the need for it yeah so it will help them to produce local goods and then supply them another recommendation is that the government should promote and encourage innovation in the country by providing support services and building infrastructure that encourage innovation so this will help to improve on the to increase on the supply of the local goods and services another recommendation is putting emphasis on research and development they should carry out proper market research so that they can find out the consumers tastes and preferences and so that the local producers can produce in line with the customers tastes and preferences this will help to increase on the supply and consumption of the local goods and services another recommendation is that the government should start with the sectors whose raw materials can be sourced locally in order for the bubble policy to be effective for example they should put the priority on industries such as the textile industry where we have locally produced cotton which can be processed out and put to use and this will help to implement the buy uganda build uganda policy and the last recommendation is strengthening the partnership with with supporting institutions and building joint ventures with the private sector and this will help to thrive the bubu policy and they should partner with every relevant stakeholder in order for their strategy to be effective they should partner with the local suppliers yeah in order for them to increase the supply and consumption of the local goods and services thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment this has been the end of the buy uganda build uganda policy yeah let's catch up in my next video as we are, shall be looking at something else